So the year was 1290 and Edward I was up near Scotland uh, fighting against the Scots when his, he received the tragic news that his wife Eleanor of Castile had passed away on her way up to see him. Uh, she died near Nottingham and the plan was to get her down to London for a funeral and everywhere they stopped on the way back to London, or all 12 stops, they, Edward later had a cross erected, one of which is, is still behind me uh, today. Uh, now this is only one of three originals that stand to this day and in this video we're going to look at three reasons why Edward had these crosses built. So the first reason that Edward had these crosses uh, built was in really remembrance of his wife. He was deeply in love with Eleanor uh, and they had a very close relationship which was quite unusual for the time. They originally got married for political reasons, um, Eleanor being a Spaniard from the Castile Kingdom and Edward being English, the hope was at the time they could form an alliance. Uh, but it actually grew into a very loving relationship, which wasn't really the norm at the time. Edward was known never to have a mistress uh, during his marriage to uh, Eleanor of, of Castile, which was really unusual. Uh, Eleanor even accompanied Edward to the Ninth Crusades in the uh, Middle Eastern region, and a rumour was later circulated that Eleanor even sucked poison out of the arm of Edward uh, to save his life, which many people may have believed at the time, given the closeness of their uh, relationship. Edward was obviously heartbroken afterwards as he spent 10 years single before he remarried and when he, when he eventually did, uh, he continued to attend remembrance sessions for uh, his former wife, Eleanor of Castile. And when he later had a daughter with his second wife, uh, they named her Eleanor after Eleanor of Castile. So obviously these crosses symbolize really the the closeness of their relationship and the the, the devastation really of Edward I after uh, Ellen of Castile passed away. So a second reason that Edward may have had these crosses built uh, were to remind everyone of the power of the monarchy. So this was obviously before things like uh, photos were available on social media so to remind everyone uh, who's in charge these crosses 12 of them may have been built to just remind everyone that uh, the king was in charge as it symbolizes really uh, Eleanor and and the king uh, so it could also have been built uh, as a way of reminding everyone that you need to obey the laws of the king and you're kind of under the watchful eye of, of the king as he's as he has actually been here and then our final reason that these uh, crosses may have been built, um, at the time everyone was very deeply religious, uh, so Edward wanted to ensure that Eleanor's soul got into heaven. Uh, so these crosses really encourage prayers for Eleanor's soul, it actually would say so on the actual crosses. So given that 12 of these were erected um, along the eastern uh, side of, of England from the way down from Nottingham to London, uh, this was really encouraging prayers for Eleanor's soul, so the hope was that Eleanor could uh, Eleanor would end up in heaven uh, as a result of uh, these crosses being built. Uh, so if you have enjoyed this video please leave it a like and comment below for which reason do you think Edward may have had these crosses built.